Well, good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here with Southern Indiana Weather. It is slightly before 6 a.m. here on the last day of April 2014, bringing you your latest video update, sponsored today by Metal Magic in Washington. You can give Chad a call at 698-8555 for all of your paintless dent repair needs. And folks, remember they have the traveling hail team as well, PDR Nation certified also. So whenever you go there, folks, you know that you're going to get quality work done. So write that number down. Tell them Southern Indiana Weather sent you. All right, satellite and radar into motion here. We've actually started to clear out quite a bit tonight. You see there's still a good deal of rain down to our south and move to the west. I've got the enhanced infrared satellite on here, so that's why you see a lot of the pretty colors on here. If I take it off, you'll get a true picture of the rain. Uh, the coloring just indicates the cold cloud tops. Around here, not a whole lot in the way of cloud cover. We do stand the chance of a few showers potentially today. We'll time that out on future radar here in a minute, but certainly the worst of the, of the weather is all to the past of us. We don't have to worry about severe weather for a good little while around here the way things look like right now, but uh, a little bit of rain potentially to deal with, but again, it's also not a very strong chance today as well. It's more like a 20 to 30 percent chance, more of an isolated type of shower for us, along with a sun and cloud type of day. All right. Temperatures wise, we're starting out pretty cool here this morning as well. We're in the upper 40s, most of the area to low 50s here in the cities. Warm spot being Stanford Field over here in Louisville, uh, actually Bowman Field around 56 degrees. So uh, it's a cool start to the morning. We will warm up a little bit today, but uh, unfortunately, just not a huge warm up in the area. All right, let's talk about our future radar. Let's talk about our rain chances first as we go throughout the day. Here's that rain that you see on radar, and then you see it pretty much stays to the Louisville area and east for the most part. We may see a stray shower or two heat up during the day, and you can start to see the hints of that uh, moving in on future radar. But for the most part, I think we stay dry today, which is a very good thing. This will be one of those days where if we see anything pop up shower-wise this afternoon, it's going to be driven by the heat of the day. And once the sun starts setting, I think you're going to see those go away pretty quickly. Same same story for Thursday. It's going to be pretty much another wash, rinse, repeat. The difference is you do see a little bit more activity during the afternoon hours starting to pop up here. But then once this is all gone, Friday, uh, again, Friday on future radar, according to the NAM, is actually looking pretty dry. Now, if we take a look at the GFS and we just take a look at the reason why uh, this is so responsible, I got to get my thing back here. I've been uh, clicking around here doing some forecasting this morning. Let me get this back here. Here's pretty much where we are right now. This is accumulated precipitation over a six hour period and we've got your surface uh, pressures on here as well. Notice this big low pressure right here and uh, uh, it's just sort of spinning around and not going very far. Just take a look at over the six hour intervals where it goes. It just sort of does some loop-de-loops around the area as it does loop-de-loops around the area. You get waves of precipitation that will eventually move in. It'll move off eventually. But if we time it out here, here's where we go on Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening. And you can see the gray is the light shades of precipitation. You do see them occasionally come to us, but not an aggressive chance of precipitation. Not like it was what not like we were thinking a few days ago that we would have uh, a rain a good portion of the week. Now it looks like the rain chances are there the rest of the week, but it, it, it looks very minor at this point. So that is certainly a good thing, especially with all the rain that we've had. It's a Rain totals around the area have been commonly three to four inches, um, so this is, uh, you know, certainly a welcome change to see uh, smaller rain chances. Eventually, though, I want you to notice what's happening here as we go into the morning on Thursday. You see, we've still got the low up to our, our, our to our north west, but you see also up here in Canada, you have a new low forming. This low actually starts to strengthen where this one dies, and eventually. What you can see is this low is pretty much gone. It transfers all of its energy over to this new low that's formed, and eventually it moves out of our area, and we start to go with more of a zonal flow rather than having that low sitting and spinning over us doing loop-de-loops. That's a good thing because it takes the rain chances away from it by the weekend, and it also warms us up. As long as this low is in our area, we're going to have a hard time warming up. In fact, temperature-wise, over the next few days, we'll see that here and... Uh, well, if I mean to show you that 16-day temperature spread, and 65 may even be kind of aggressive for some of us today. 
and then the next couple of days even cooler on temperatures but then by the time you get into Saturday and Sunday well then these are some nicer temperatures going on even into the 80s potentially next week so you see we've got a nice warm-up coming again once that low gets out of here and this this uh, very unusual system is out of the way it does look like we have uh, a decent shot of, of getting some warmer temperatures back again all right let's go to southern indiana weather.com we can take a look at your seven day forecast sponsored by Ubalor and Sons and Jasper I'm forecasting 63 today and uh, now this is uh, it's got temperature wise today is going to be highly uh, con conditional on where you are at in the area let's pull up your plan your day forecast as well just to give you an idea of the temperature spread uh, it's this is one of those type of days where rather than being uh, warmer in the south and uh, cooler in the north it's going to be more of an east to west kind of thing today where it's going to be cooler in the west and warmer in the east it's probably it's partially going to depend on cloud cover but it's also dependent on that that south wind transporting some warmer air up into our area as well and and uh, so it looks like uh, points off towards the eastern side of Indiana are going to stay in the middle 60s roughly whereas you're going to find the lower 60s for your highs again sun and clouds today sometimes it may be partly cloudy sometimes it may be mostly cloudy you're going to see those come around and it depends on where you're at in the state as well and again a stray sour chance but uh, not a big deluge as far as anything goes in fact I've only given it a 30 percent chance for showers today it gets even less as you go into Thursday and Friday with only 20% chances of showers, but cooler temperatures, as you can see. The good news is it doesn't look like we're going down into the 30s for a low, like we were fearing at one point, so that's that's certainly a welcome change. But only a high of 59 on Friday. That's going to be a shock to our system with mostly cloudy skies as the winds turn out of the northwest again. Again, very slight chance of showers, but hey, we get through today, we get through tomorrow, we get through Friday, and look at the reward we've got. I've actually taken the precipitation chances out now for the weekend, so if you're heading to the festivities in the Louisville area for the Oaks and, and the Kentucky Derby and things like this, then it looks like it's going to be a pretty nice day overall. Back into the 70s by Saturday and Sunday, sort of two carbon copy days there with partly cloudy skies, warmer warmer still on Monday, and then even potentially up to the 80s again by next week under mostly sunny skies. So you can't beat that. Uh, we've got a few days here, three days really, that we've, we've got to uh, sort of uh, suffer through with the cooler weather and sun and clouds and, and some rain chances. After we get past this, though, we got some nicer weather coming in the forecast. And as we take a look again at the 16-day, it looks like we've got some warmer weather to stay for a while. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that happens because I know most of us are wanting this. It'll be a welcome change. All right. That is it for this morning's video, folks. Have a great day. We'll have another one of these for you later down the line. For Southern Indiana Weather, I'm meteorologist Michael Wilhite. Have a great day, folks.